So this week we're actually having a break from the wine regions and we thought that we would give you a bit of a tour of our vehicle and our van and kind of tell you the story of how it came about. So this is a 2018 Fiat Ducato. It is an extra long wheelbase and has a high rooftop. I picked it up in Brisbane for these post commercials. It is a second hand vehicle that I was searching for for a couple of months trying to hunt one down. So when this one came up I drove all the way from Yamba to Brisbane and checked it out and I was in love with it and bought it straight away. So I picked up the vehicle at the start of 2022 and started the build in February which started with completely gutting the vehicle. Uh, then we started with working on the framing elements and the structural elements and putting in a lot of insulation into the walls. Being in such a hot climate I really wanted to make sure that we got that right. Then we focused on you know, putting all the walls up and um, painting it and putting the flooring in. I did outsource a couple of pieces to this project like the plumbing system and also the electrical system. It was just something that I didn't have the time or the capability to actually handle myself and I'm so glad that I actually did hire out those elements because it really up levels the value of the overall build. So that part of the build took about four to five months. I picked up Matthew in June in Brisbane and we have done the anti-clockwise loop of Australia starting in Brisbane up to Cairns over to Darwin over to Broome then all down the west coast where we started hitting up the wine region so if you are interested in checking out some of our videos about the wine regions then we have a couple on Swan Valley, Margaret River, Pendleton, Franklin and then we made it across the Nullarbor Drove across to Nullarbor and got to Adelaide, which is where we are located now. And we're about to hit up all of the other wine regions in this area. So we had a bit of a break over Christmas. Just when we arrived in Adelaide, we had two weeks in a house sit, which gave us the opportunity and the time to get the van finished. So we worked on just making it all pretty, getting the roof done, getting an extra coat of paint in, just putting all the bells and whistles on. So we thought it would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys the van. So let's come on in and do a tour. This is Rexy. We've this van, the two of us, with our 14 month old golden retriever Labrador. So while the van is almost complete, the only thing that we're really waiting to change is the curtain. So we have a few storage areas in the van. This is just the top of the cab here and we've put all of our bedding in there. And then these are just some boxes with like dog food, we put our shoes in here, our door dirty laundry over this way. Then you can come into our kitchen slash should have been a bathroom. This was originally the shower where we were going to install a toilet. So we didn't find that we would really make use of this shower so we actually turned it into a pantry. And if you guys follow our channel you know that Matthew and I are massive foodies so that was a priority for us. We have all these different cabinets dedicated for different things like we've got our tea and our coffee. Um, all of our like random snacks <laughs> that are falling out. Other things in here like sugar and grains and noodles and stuff. Uh, we have one drawer that's dedicated to gym supplements and like lollies and chocolate. Uh, yeah, this is our. And then we also have a little section here where we store all of our hanging items so it's turned into a bit of a closet as well. So this is our kitchen area here where we have a little camp stove which has also got an oven as well. Uh, this is how we toast our toast. We don't have a toaster in here. We have our fruit and vegetable bins here and then we have our spice drawers. This one's a bit empty. <laughs> but the one on the other side is full of spices. Spices. So in the drawer here, uh, we have all of our pots and pans and cutlery and teacups and wine glasses. We've got so many different types of wine glasses. I think we're the only band lifers in the world that have a different glass for a different bottle of wine. Then we have our sink here. 
it's just a really big, nice, deep sink. I originally got it this big because I thought that I'd be washing the dog in here or like doing my laundry and stuff. I really love this faucet here as well because you can actually put it outside and it has an extension here so you can have like a little shower after the beach. Uh, I also, like one of my favorite features about the van is this live edge piece of timber that I picked up just on the outskirts of Yamba in New South Wales. And we have this little extension here. So we can actually bring out the workspace either if we're cooking or one of us can sit on the top of the bench stools there. I really love this timber. It's just probably, yeah, it's one of probably the main features of the van and all of the other color schemes kind of came from this one piece. We have a small, tiny, little bar fridge. If you are doing a van build, the one thing that has saved us is having a fridge that has a lock on it because this door will fly open, food will fall out, Rex will eat it all when we're on bumpy roads. After the kitchen, you come into the seating slash lounge slash sleeping space. So I got these custom cushions made up from Clark Rubber with memory foam. They have been like so comfortable because what, what happens is this actually turns into a bed space. So we've got our table here which is made out of the same timber as the rest of the live edge pieces and this actually comes down and the cushions fold in to make a bed. You might be asking, okay, well there's a bit of a gap there. We have an extra piece that we pull out in the night when we're making the bed. Coming back to these windows, which is the bells and whistles that Matthew put together just over Christmas, which just has made the van look so much more homey. Um, we've got the live edge pieces, some extra cutoffs that we're using as these window sills here. And we do have to get a curtain made up as well, uh, which will kind of come across the entirety of the wall here. So we can kind of keep the doors open and have some sort of screen wall that stops like flies getting in because there's lots of flies in Australia. Then we have some decorational pieces. So we have our mirror, which actually just opens the space up a lot as mirrors do. Then we have our books here. We've got to be very selective about our books because we can't carry many of them. Um, so we've just got a small collection there. And then we have all of our cabinets up here so it's where Matthew's clothes are more clothes in here then we've got just like bathroom stuff up here toiletries vitamins medicines etc and more spices <laughs> then on the other side same kind of deal I have my clothes in these two and just some extra girly toiletry stuff then just to complete the van, uh, Matthew put up this, what is this? Uh, pine with a red sear stain. Which just has completely completed the van. Just feels so nice in here now, I'm so happy with it. Another couple of features are our lights. Uh, we have about six of these little touch lights. You can just touch them on and off and they're working off two different circuits that way you don't have to have all the lights on at once which is nice and we have these little bed lamps as well as you can tell I'm a little bit obsessed with lighting then to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on the electrical which I'm gonna um, let Matthew speak on because he will be able to explain it better this is just like our control panel where we can control everything so this is our hot water heater um, a little control for our fans then we've just got fridges for like the water pump and this little system here is awesome because it really tells us how much battery we have so right now we're 99% full which is great because it's a nice sunny region where we are at the moment it tells you just like where your amps are pulling from and yeah it was a big investment but I think a really well needed one so that's the tour of the inside of the van um, and now we're gonna get a little more technical in like our battery system and our water setup and all of that kind of stuff because I'm sure there'll be questions about it. So this is our water pump system. We previously had a 
bit higher end. I think it was a SureFlow system in here, but it unfortunately went out and we were unable to keep finding parts for it easily. So we actually ended up going with the SafeFlow RV pump uh, simply because you can get parts for it at Bunnings. If you can't find a Bunnings in Australia, you're doing something wrong. As you can see, it's a little bit tight quarters down here. We keep all of our extra clothing and bedding in here as we switch seasons. Then we have this little cheap cover that just protects the pump, top of the pump and we store more stuff right down on top of it. So in true wine and foodie fashion, we have converted half of our under bed storage over to the wine cellar. So down here is where we keep all of our wines. We're a bit low stocked right now on wine just because uh, it's been a bit since we've been in the wine regions. And we have all of our wine glasses and our decanters and then our liquor cabinet. Uh, which we keep at the moment because we were in really hot climates. We were making margaritas and we're both huge Negroni fans, which means we always have Negroni fixings on tap. And then we got a little bit extra room down here uh, and that will very quickly be filled up with wine. So this is our power system. We have two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Uh, we went with the advanced mobile power systems batteries. They were recommended by the auto electrician and Chloe showed you the controller for this already. This is our Redark power management system and then our 240 volt inverter. So that's our power system and this is charged by three 200 watt solar panels up on the roof so we have a total of 600 watts of solar power coming into the van um, it usually generates over 20 amps on the solar power when we got good sun which usually gets us charged up pretty quickly um, in most evenings when it's not excessively hot or excessively humid we only use about 15 percent of our battery power overnight and that will be recharged by 10 a.m. so we very very rarely drop under 80 percent battery power with our system and that is running our fridge which does pull a little bit extra power it usually runs on about four or five amps at a time um, and then we pretty much always have either phones or computers plugged in and charging because something is dead the camera batteries are always plugged in and charging and the fans up here we forgot to mention so we're running two fans uh, made by a company called 2012 they are very similar to the max systems but significantly less expensive these only have four speeds as opposed to max airs that are running like 10 12 speeds but they do have auto open and close and rain sensors on them so that makes it really convenient for us and they come with a really good warranty so they, they work pretty well we could have spent more money on the max fans but we just felt like these were really good they had really great reviews online so we decided to go with them. Then we have our last bits of decoration. These are some little pot plants that my mum put together. We just don't have any plants in at the moment because we've been traveling a bit. We're heading over to Bali soon, so we can't really look after them. We always like to have some fresh flowers in the van. We have this handmade woven basket from Sardinia and this prayer wheel that we picked up in Vietnam. And yeah. We have our incense burning all the time and a little candle, speaker for music. We have our lavender that Matthew picked up from Ellensbrook and made it into this beautiful little dried lavender bouquet. We have our crystals which is my hippie stuff, some photos and the Mexican blanket and our bears. We have this boomerang which we picked up Atherton Tablelands just outside of Cairns which is hand painted by an Aboriginal elder which was really cool. Curation of pillows. That was our van guys. If you have any questions about it then be sure to just type a comment or reach out to us. You can find us either here on YouTube or over at Travels with Chloe and Matthew on Instagram. So we've driven over to Handorf today and we are going to start going through the wine regions here. So the next video you get after this will be the Adelaide Hills. We're heading to Bali again because we need more footage because you guys need to see Bali more. So we'll have some stuff coming from there and then we'll come back and continue the Australian wine regions working our way through South Australia and Victoria and then down to Tasmania. Thanks so much for coming along guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you would like to come no, along. don't just like and subscribe <laughs> just do it down there like, right there. And, <laughs> like and subscribe to follow on the rest of our travels and if you'd like to see more videos about van life let us know too because this is kind of 
part of what we do too. See you later.